How's it going guys? Dan here from Who Figure Adventures and we are five minutes away from Jodie's last episode in Doctor Who. It is very exciting. I didn't realise it's five minutes because um, I was setting everything up uh, and doing a bunch of tests and stuff, making sure everything goes right and stuff. Um, so I, I, I did all that and forgot to do an intro. Well. Um, so I'm going to do quick fire predictions in the last four minutes before the episode starts. Um, David Tennant, at the end, I think, uh, although it's just so hard to tell now, bunch of old companions that Dan's going to recruit, Dan will survive, Yaz, don't have much hope, uh, but um, I think I think she'll die, or get cut off on the doctor in some way, that means she can't get back to her, Kate, I really hope she doesn't become a Cyberman, like, her father, that would be the stupidest thing they've ever done, uh, doing it once was stupid doing it twice is just ridiculous um yeah I, I i can't think right now it's just too too exciting <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna get started um because also you guys don't want to hear me what i want about theories and stuff i'm sure everyone's got their own theories and everyone's heard everyone else's predictions and stuff like that so yeah without any further ado roll the titles and let's bring on jodie whittaker's final episode of doctor who Dan's literally... His helmet's been shot. He's done for. Yeah, but, but this is going to be the thing where he's like, no, I'm done. I'm out. Oh, it's Master. It's for Master, it's got to be. And out he steps with a long beard and everything. Oh. oh. Not who I was expecting. Oh, last I'm hearing this. Oh, it's going to be so sad. And I can now. It better not be the last time we see him in the episode, though. Well. That's why she's gonna die at the end. Better than any money. That cliff. <laughs> Mona Lisa. <laughs> the screen, the hay wing, the girl with a pearl earring, the last Of course, of all course. Of them and more taken out of public view because all of them we've discovered. Have a face of a master. Interfaced. Face of Rasputin well. inserted into every painting. <laughs> That's not Rasputin. That's a master. That's the master. What? what? Greetings, seismology <laughs> fans. If you're craving answers to life's <laughs> little mysteries. Bit of a conversation stopper, that. Bit of a conversation stopper. Yeah, that's what I said. Right, yes. Oh, um, clear up the tiny bodies and inform the loved ones what you would <laughs> Oh, he's just the best incarnation. He really is. You're not gonna shoot me. Actually, folks. Nice to see him, but he's dead. Anybody wanna join me? Bunk up in the bunker. <laughs> Your dad was an idiot. <gasps> Tegan Joe Funker. How's your auntie been? <coughs> you keep her in a little doll's house. I'm going to enjoy watching you locked up in a tiny cell. That's right, you tell me. And Ace! <laughs> should I say Dorothy? Yes, you should. Then the doctor ditch you. Darling, I don't seem to have the room service menu, only I have allergies. <laughs> I'm human intolerant. <laughs> no? Oh, I love him. Just trying to lie to Oh, they can't. You all die. Art RTD has to keep him, he just has to. <laughs> oh, he's brilliant. Oh, he's brilliant. He is just the best. Really, what's got? This is amazing. <laughs> Am I actually watching Doctor Who now or an edit? It's. What is this? <laughs> okay, well done, Chips. That makes up for the whole era. <laughs> Oh, the master's gonna become the doctor, I think. Maybe. That might be how it ends. Sasha Dewan is the doctor. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sasha Dewan is the doctor. <laughs> Got the earrings and everything. I am the doctor. And you are the baby. 
Oh, oh, okay. What was that? Oh my god. Change back. Can't be done. No, it actually can't be done. God, it's like born again from 2005. <laughs> Change back. Yeah, I can't. <gasps> they were right. They were right about the costumes. And the Doctor will wear old Doctor's costumes, quite literally. <laughs> I, really, I really hope they release a proper photo so we can detect everything. Seventh Doctor's jumper, fourth Doctor's scarf, recorder. Are those twelfth Doctor's trousers? Yes, they are. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> this is insane. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Colin Baker. This is supposed to be handed over. You can't ruin it for the next one. Peter Davison. Oh my god. Come on. Paul McCann. Please. Because the last thing I remember is being forced to regenerate. That's why we're here. <laughs> Stop you moving any further through. You are not finished. Oh my God. We are not finished. We being vestiges of your conscience. Fragments of your soul. Sylvester. Yes. Oh my God. Look at him. He looks amazing. Why are you not wearing <laughs> Because. I don't do wrong. Oh my God. There's always one. It has to be different. I am a manifestation of our conscience. Oh my God. We should just focus on this. Whatever this is. The the edge. The edge this is what? the best thing ever. If everyone knows me, you just know how much I just love the Eighth Doctor so much. This is. <sighs> Look at him. We it's need so him bad. back it's properly in the series. Paul McGann lied to me at Comic Con. <laughs> so until it's settled, he may be home. We need help from the outside. Which is easier said than done. Oh, it's just the best. <laughs> oh my god. You're affecting the interface of the program. It's reacting to your emotional memory. Oh, Peter Davison, you bloody madman. What am I thinking? Someone will be Cybermen. Don't say that. I am not okay. I am not okay. I'm also not okay again. What? If we see the seventh doctor, we're going to see the seventh Did doctor. Work, How are you doing that? In case you need a bit of help, we're going to do fine. So it's fine for me to blow stuff. He's up. coming in too. Nothing's changed. It's never fine. Blow stuff up. <laughs> Please. Sometimes, sadly, it's the only solution. But only after fair warning. Could you imagine if there's a companion from each, uh, each of the old doctors? Then we'd have that scene. We'd have the eighth doctor. <gasps> Never mind. What I was saying. Arnold Palmer, son. Volcano Inspector. Graham, friend of the doctor. Oh, former bus driver. Worried about the amount of Daleks in here and what he's going to do about it. <laughs> I'm of greatest strategic. Oh, value. don't turn her into Cyberman. That'd be the worst thing you could do. Fugitive Doctor? Come from somewhere? I'm the Doctor, mate. Who the hell are you? <laughs> She's brilliant. You sure you want to do that, boys? Hologram? Reunite! Yes, I must hope. Good luck, Doctor. <laughs> brilliant. We used to be friends. I can't believe we've not had anything from Dam since. This is ridiculous. Oh, final confrontation. But if I can't be the doctor. Neither can you? Oh no. 
That's it, she's dead. Oh Jesus. Master's dead as well. Oh Jesus. Oh my god, that was just a straight up. Go on, Yaz. Give me a new appreciation for y Yaz here. She's fine. She's fine. I don't think she is. Oh, she is fine. <gasps> Doctor. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Here we go. I'm not. I'm not ready. Not right. I'm actually properly not ready. Oh, they actually got ice creams. Look at her hand, just... <laughs> How many times do you think you've saved her? Didn't you get your invite? Invite? I'm Graham, and um, apparently I've got to be the first one to talk, so... <clears throat> it's just all old companions. I have this... I can't, and look, I'm not. <sighs> I reckon they're so Jones, Mel, Ian Chesterton. <sighs> this is where we share stories about the dog. William Russell. I will also say I may want to recruit some work. <laughs> First regeneration out of a TARDIS for this doctor. Wow. Beautiful. Blossom, yes, blossom. And here we go. Okay, prepare everyone. Power stations. It's the only sad Who thing. are we going to get? Tenant? Or... I want to know what happens next. Alright. <laughs> Billion. And there she goes. What a beautiful regeneration. Please don't leave it open ended. Who is it? Oh, costume's changing as well. David Tennant. It's David Tennant. <laughs> Don't say it. He's going to say it. New teeth. I know this. <gasps> but why has the outfit changed? What? <sighs> what? Yes. Who wants to see us? It's David Dennis for Doctor. Right, come on. 60th anniversary. Here we go. <sighs> Please say Christmas 2022. That would just top it off. That's a new logo as well. <laughs> no, sorry, I need to see him. I need to see him again. <sighs> oh no. Uh. Right, so that's a new l logo. He's recorded scenes. Shoot his recorded scenes. I can't believe it. Wow, I mean, just look at him stepping out of the TARDIS. Those were scenes from Camden, they just look so good. Neil Patrick Harris has to be the toy maker. Oh, he's, he's, he's so good. Oh, that was a lot. That was so much going on. <laughs> B. 
this isn't strong long enough. Okay, right, what is happening? <laughs> so, I mean, I'm just, I'm just checking my phone, I'm just seeing what everyone's just saying about it, because I just literally, I just can't get over, look at that, why have they done that to us? <laughs> That's just, okay, so, for starters, Jodie Whittaker, that was just an amazing performance throughout the era. And uh, before I say anything, I just want to say, Timeless Child, what was the point? Uh, the Fob Watch never got opened, it never got, it never got, you know, picked up again. Which, I mean, I'm kind of happy it didn't, uh, because of what, um... Because of all that was happening, I'm just happy that it didn't end up getting picked up on. Uh, there just was too much going on. And to talk about with Timeless Child as well, would just be a bad mistake. So, yeah. Uh, the episode was good. I think it definitely needs a rewatch. Um, Chipnall definitely packed in a lot. Uh, I think he did it in... A, an okay way. He did it in a good way. It was a good episode, a good story. Like I say again, it needs a rewatch. It needs to sit for a couple of days. But everything was just... It was good. I'm happy we didn't rush into the regeneration. And it was very much towards the end. A bit of like an add-on, really. And I'm quite happy about that. I just think, you know... Uh, to Rise Upon a Time was a whole regeneration from start to end. And I'm happy it just happened towards the end. I think fans would feel a lot better because it would just be teasing a bit too much. Um, but yeah, we've got um, David Tennant is the Doctor again. That's just something I cannot believe I am actually saying. My phone's just exploding. It, I just... It's just amazing. I can't believe shooting out was recorded scenes. I, 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 it's just been... Paul McGann as well, I'm just, Ian Chesterton, it was just, look at him, that is for Doctor, that is our next Doctor, oh, our next Doctor, you know, but, yeah, um, I do wonder when we're going to get uh, our first David Tennant episode then, um, people had hoped for Christmas this year, that's obviously not happening, um, yeah, um, I just, I just don't know what to say. Um, I'm happy Kate didn't get upgraded to Cyberman. Um, Dan, I'm so disappointed with how they've, with what they've done with Dan this episode. I mean, I know Chibnall had a lot to to you know stack on top, but I just wish that he was. If he left the Doctor, I wish that he was unit or if it, or they was doing something you know throughout the episode I just feel you know it's it's a final episode it's supposed to have everyone come back together and just one of the companions is back at home you know I just sort of wish I was um it was dealt a bit of a better hand but anyway uh, that's just one small that's just one small negative the whole episode is uh or just yeah, brilliant. It was just um, Sasha Dewan as Rasputin or the Master. It's just I so hope that it's not the final time we see him. Um, I feel that it was quite a um, quite a sort of solid end for his incarnation. But you know he's escaped worse. Um, and yeah, um, I quite like the way that Jodie was um, killed off at the end. It was quite sudden. It was just for Master like, No, you're not the Doctor either. And he just turned around with a big uh, planet converter thing onto her. Um, but yeah, I mean, we got cameos from Doctors 5, 6, 7, and 8. That is it's just amazing. Oh, and David Bradley as well. First Doctor, that's now two regenerations in a row. It's just becoming a tradition to get David Bradley in for regeneration. But, um, yeah. Um, that moment when 
Paul appeared, I was just happy. I was so happy. <laughs> um, yeah, there's just... God, I can't even think just where to start. It was just perfect. I think. Um, I'm happy it's 19 minutes or else I wouldn't have been time for anything. The Rasputin scene, that scene, Chibnall was just like, sorry, I'm going out with a bang. And he did. He did. Um, oh god, look at his hair. Look at his hair. How good does that look? Yeah, it's just... Wow. Um, there weren't any sort of phasmin in this episode. I'm just sort of... Oh, they released an image. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's keeping with a moustache, then. He's keeping the moustache for Doctor Who. Wow. Wow. Uh, yeah, just amazing. So, um, anyway, I just, I, my brain, I don't know if you can tell, my brain just can't process thoughts right now. What happened to that child as well? Is that child just dead? The child from the start of the episode? I presume so. Um, seemed like that was going to be quite important, the whole cargo bit, but, uh, not really. But, um, yeah. And with that, another Doctor Who era ends and Twitter explodes. It's just. Brilliant. Um, yeah, next up we have the 60th anniversary. I might do a video properly talking about the episode. I think everyone is in this sort of state where they just. They really don't know where to start. Ace and Tegan, I've not m m mentioned them. They, it was just amazing to have them back. Uh, they were in it for the right amount of time, got all the right sort of references in. The scene with with Janet and Peter and Sophie and Sylvester was just perfect. It was just written perfect. It's like that small tag on that was needed for their era. They both left the Doctor with such a abrupt ending. Um, so it's really nice how they got that. And could you imagine if, say, Grace Holloway was in it, or Lucy Miller? Uh, well, I mean, they can't really get Lucy Miller in, um, but yeah. Um, and then we'd have had a scene with Paul McGann uh, in that same calibre. But yeah, just just amazing. Uh, just having all those cameos and stuff. Um, yeah, and that is all that I've got. Uh, like I say, I'm going to do a proper video talking about the episode because it's just such a big one, I can't just sort of summarise it up in a small end of episode uh, chat. But yeah, with that, uh, that is all for this time. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed uh, this video, please leave a like. It really supports the channel, me doing these videos and stuff like that. Because um, I've been doing them for so long now. I've been doing these since 2014. Since uh, wow, I've just it's, I've just realised as well. I've seen I've seen in and out two whole eras. I can't believe that. <laughs> Any normal person would stop here. <laughs> but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. It really, really does mean a lot that year. That year, stick with the channel, stuff like that. But yeah. But that's all for this time, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter at DanWFA, the link is in the description. And I'll see you... I don't know what the next Doctor Who episode will be. Usually I always end these videos saying, and I'll see you in the next series or something like that. But I'll see you in the 60th, I suppose. <sighs> Goodbye.